Another year means another budget proposal from Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett, which could be his last. The mayor's proposal is up to nearly $2 billion and includes eliminating lead in the water. The property tax levy is up 2% higher than last year, meaning a residential property owner will see an increase of about $33 in taxes. Mayor Barrett's plan also includes cutting the budget for the police department. So if approved, this means that MPD faces the third straight year of staff reductions. Ben Jordan goes in depth on what this means for Milwaukee police and the community amid a historic surge in violent crime. Mayor Barrett says he plans to use federal coronavirus relief funds to hire nearly 200 new officers to address a recent surge in retirements. But additional budget cuts are set to once again shrink the Milwaukee Police Department. In what's expected to be Mayor Tom Barrett's final budget address, the city's longtime leader is proposing another round of cuts for the Milwaukee Police Department. It is not my intent uh, or my desire to reduce the size of the police department right now. Do I think they have to do things differently? Do I think there have to be reforms? Absolutely yes. Do I think that we should have a decrease? No. Mayor Barrett says due to financial realities, he wants MPD to operate on $278 million in 2022 about 16 million fewer dollars than this year. Mayor Barrett says that will allow the department to have 1,643 sworn law enforcement staff, a reduction of about 25 officers. I know that reckless driving is a problem in the city of Milwaukee. I know that the violence is too high. I obviously know that. We want to have the resources to address this, but we need to have the legislature as a partner. Milwaukee Police Union Acting President Andrew Wagner says the department can't afford to get any smaller after losing 180 officers to budget cuts over the past two years. I think it's frustrating. I think it's frustrating all the officers out there on the street that are just trying to get help. With more than 200 department vacancies, Wagner says officers and detectives are already struggling to keep up with violent crime rates. The city is on pace to match last year's record of 190 homicides, and altogether, violent crime is up 36 percent. I think you're going to lose the services that you see that, that matter to people. You know, we'll, we'll respond to the violent crime and we'll respond to those types of crimes, but what's really affecting the city of Milwaukee is their property crimes. Do they feel safe going at home without getting their purse stolen? Do they feel safe leaving their car on the street? According to data from Milwaukee police, an average of 28 cars are stolen a day in the city. And we've seen three times as many cars stolen this year compared to this time last year. While budget cuts are upsetting to officers, community advocate Tori Lowe believes the size of the police department makes no difference when it comes to reducing crime in the community. People are under duress. When people don't know what are, are uncertain of their future and they don't have incomes and they don't have the proper education, they, this is what's going to happen. This is historically proven. And only way to reduce all of this is to give people the tools of employment, education and good housing. And that calms it down. The mayor's budget is subject to amendments by the Common Council. Alders are expected to pass their final version in early November. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.